was the last time you reevaluated your drumstick? Is the stick you're currently using fighting against you? Maybe it's a little too front heavy, which then slows down the rebound. Maybe it's a little too back heavy, which is stopping you from getting that fat sound you want out of your drum set. Over the past few years, I've asked myself all of those questions, and that's why we created the Vic Firth NE1. NE stands for no excuses. Every aspect of the stick, from the length to the grip to the taper, was designed to make sure that your drumstick wasn't fighting against you, leaving you with no excuses. I think one of the biggest things that we can all do as drummers is to reevaluate and ask ourselves why are we using the gear that we're using? We all need to embrace the reevaluation process, especially when it comes to the one thing that you're making physical contact with the entire time you're playing your drumstick. So, if it's time to reevaluate your drumstick, the NE1 is the perfect place to start. So for the grip on the NE1, we tried a bunch of different things and we ended up going with something right in between a 5A and a 5B. Sometimes a 5A would feel just a little too thin in my hands and I just couldn't get what I wanted out of the stick. 5B sometimes felt pretty good, but honestly, sometimes it felt a little heavy and my hands would wear out. So the NE1 is right in between a 5A and a 5B. So if you're somebody that's playing 5As and you just wish you had something a little bigger, or if you're playing 5Bs and you wish you had something a little bit thinner, the NE1 is gonna be perfect for you. So for the tip on the NE1, we actually tried a bunch of different things. First, we started with an acorn, great sound on the drums, but it was a little slow on the rebound. Ball tip gives you an awesome rebound and great articulation on the cymbals, but if you're a heavy hitter like I am, it can dent drum heads. So then we tried the half barrel tip, and that's when we found that magic sweet spot. Great fat sound on the drums, super articulate on the cymbals, and really fast rebounding off of every surface. The half barrel tip on the NE1 is just the sweet spot for anybody looking to play really articulate stuff on the cymbals, but still have a fat sound on the kit. The taper of a drumstick is honestly probably the most important attribute. That's what's gonna determine how the stick rebounds off of a specific object, like your ride cymbal, your snare drum, or your hi-hats. So if you have a really, really long, thin taper, the stick is gonna fly back at you and it's gonna feel amazing and fast, but it might not last very long because it's gonna be so thin towards the top. It also won't have a very thick sound on the drums. If your taper is too late and it happens really towards the end of the stick, then it's gonna be really front heavy and you're gonna wear out. Your endurance won't be there. Not to mention, it's not gonna rebound off of your ride very well. So with the NE1, we kept trying a bunch of different tapers until we found that perfect combination of having something where the stick flies back at you, the rebound is super fast, but we also wanted something where the stick would last a long time and the endurance would be there and it wouldn't wear you out. So all those things together are why that taper is so important and I really think that we nailed it with this model. So one of the first things that you'll notice when you get the any one in your hands is that they look a little bit different and that's because we actually changed the logo. This is something that they've never done before. We took the red out of the Vic Firth logo. When Vic Firth sends me prototypes, it just says V1, V2, version three. And I got really used to that look of just the black writing on a natural wood stick. As it was time to come up with the final artwork, we were talking about, well, what do you want to do with this? And I was like, honestly, I'm kind of in love with the way the prototypes look. Is there any way we could do that? And for Vic Firth to be cool with that, that was pretty amazing. The any one is basically just all black writing on a natural hickory stick. Most importantly, it speaks to the simplicity of what's going on here. We want something that just does its job, no frills, just gets out of the way and does exactly what we're asking of it. And that's what the visual aspect of the anyone represents.